Welcome back. Um, this lessons I would like to lesson this lesson I would like to show you um, how to upload a whole bunch of ingredients. So not just one by one, but if you have, for example, a wholesale account with someone, or you have a lot of essential oils and carrier oils or containers as well, you can upload or bulk upload them. So let's go to this little file here where it says download ingredients data template. An Excel spreadsheet will open up and you will need to enter your prices here. So this one is fairly simple. Um, these ones are just examples on how it should look like. And we will need to fill out five fields which are required. Quantity, unit size, price, currency and supplier name. We do have a little uh, optional field here where you can enter your supplier information like their website or contact person and so on. The list of essential oils is, um, is again protected uh, because we would like to show you the safety information and if everybody were to enter their own um, essential oils with their Latin names we might have spelling mistakes and then we can't display the uh, safety information. So let's add here a couple of oils. Oh, and by the way, if you see one missing or something isn't clear, please send us an email at info at paddleandstem.com and we will add your ingredient to this list within 24 hours. So um, you will be able to use it. And, uh, if you, and that's just in case if you don't find it here. But we have a whole bunch of different German chamomiles and frankincense and whatnot else. So you should have it on this list. We have over 150, I think, added. Let's see how many actually are yeah, over. Oh, wow. Yeah, so over 200 essential oils. 200 and around 88 essential oils. Um, Okay, so the goal right now is to just add a couple of oils and let's go and grab a price. Um, I have opened up here bergamot oil, um, bergamotine free from Petal and Stem. And this one is 5 gram or 5.78 milliliters and $6.80. So I'm gonna add, uh, first I'm gonna look for bergamot, which is oops, under B, of course. And this one is over here bergaptine free and um, I'm going to add this one. So again this one was 5.78 milliliters very exact because Floriana works with um, grams as we should. We've got okay a drop down menu milliliters and then the price was $6.80 And US dollars drop down, and then you can enter um, your supplier name over here, pedal and stem. And then I'm gonna leave the rest empty right now, but you can add those other green fields which are optional. And then you will um, add the second one, which I chose to be Yeleng Yeleng. And we are looking at 16.67 milliliters and the price is $11.70. So let's go down to Y and then let's see where that one is. Yiling, yiling. And this is over here and we're going to put in the number. Oops, you're better off typing the number. Um, milliliters and then the price is $11.70 $11.70 it was again US dollar so let's choose that from the drop down and pedal and stem one more time okay so let's say you have for example one from aromatics we can do that too you would go to their website or obviously you might have an invoice actually and then let's choose a lavender oil here mm, 
I'm just going to take this one. So this one is 15 milliliters for 17.99 and it's the Angustifolia. Let's go up to lavender. Angustifolia. And that one was 15. Use the drop down for the unit size. Um, and the price was 17 99 and that is US dollars and then you can put here aromatics all right so that's it um, if you have carrier oils you would add those ones over here this one is just an explanation let me just enlarge it a little bit uh, what the fields mean so these six fields are required and the other ones are optional. And then there's a little description here how much of this product was purchased. If you've done this one a couple of times, it's very easy, but you actually probably only need to use it once to get all your supplies in at once. So I would spend maybe an hour or two and then you've got everything in the system. And then go ahead and save the file. I'm going to just save it as ingredient template um, tutorial on my desktop and click save and then you can go ahead and close it and go back to the upload and now you just want to click upload ingredients data. Okay, so I've got it on my desktop over here, ingredients, template 9, choose, and it will be uploaded. There will be a message coming up that is still missing. But let's go to our data sheet or our hamburger and make sure we have our ingredients in here. So let's search for the lavender. My internet is extremely slow right now. Just go out one more time. Okay. All right, let's go to here. Come on, internet. Okay. Ah, somehow down right now. <laughs> of course. Okay, my internet is down. Let me see if I can plug this one in. Yep, no internet detected hotspot. Ay, ay, ay. In the middle of it. Okay, let's see if we can get it now. <laughs> I just plugged into the cable. Lavender. And let's see. I oh, know we did we add lavender? Yes. And only show my ingredients and still point aromatics. And we entered, I believe. Hang on just a second. Maybe the upload didn't happen because of the internet connection. Let's just do it one more time. Ah, ingredients uploaded successfully. Okay, there is the message. Um, and now let me just double check here. The hamburger only show my ingredients. It's working again. Lavender. Aromatics. Here you go. So you will see lavender aromatics here. Um, you will also see the ylang ylang which I entered earlier and you will have blend precisely. That's always will be there. Um, and then you have the petal and stem here. So in this way you can choose your own prices and let's double check one more time. So it's the Yelang Yelam complete 16.67 milliliters for 1170. And if, oops, 
if we go back here, Ye Leng Ye Leng completes 16.67 milliliters for 1170. So they show up then in your ingredients. And um, you can do the same with the carrier oils, the hydrolytes, um, butters, and so on. And then also the same for the container parts. So these two options are available if you have a lot of ingredients. If not, you just might want to choose to go back to add ingredients and do the single one here. And that was in tutorial number eight. Okay, I will talk to you soon and sorry for the internet interruption. Talk to you soon. Bye.